Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing an unboxing to shorten the length of my review from 1 to 2 minutes. Let me know if you guys prefer unboxing done separately or if you guys enjoy the quick unboxing that I put at the beginning of my videos. I can get the unboxing done sooner than the review if you guys prefer that, so yeah, your feedback is appreciated. Alright, let's unbox the massive Yucatel K10, which is the newest beast in terms of battery on the market right now. Yucatel put a 11,000 milliamp battery into this phone, tailored to those who really dislike being plugged to a wall. So let's go ahead and check out what goodies they threw in. So first off we got the phone and it feels kind of heavy and we'll put that to the side for the meantime. So underneath here there are two accessory boxes. This one contains the European power brick and I am well prepared this time around. I bought a converter so I don't have to keep digging around for a power brick with the appropriate output. Thank goodness for these converters. Alright so the next box it has a few cables and the SIM ejection tool which has its own little zip bag. First time seeing that kind of weird. So you have a USB type C to USB type A and then there's the charging cable. And finally, the USB Type-C to USB 3.5mm jack, since it's lacking that almost 16 headphone jack. Alright, so that brings me to a question for you guys. If you had to choose between having the headphone jack but a micro USB port, or a USB Type-C port but no headphone jack, what would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments section and I'll be hanging around there in the morning. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on before I start getting sidetracked. So this other box here has the user manual. I knew there was something missing. It also comes with a plastic screen protector. Alright, so let's move on to the phone now. So here is the phone and the phone comes with the clear TPU case on it already. It's pretty flexible and that's funny, it has a cutout for its name at the bottom. The back has this leather look to it and you can see some small imperfections near the flash and below the fingerprint scanner. But aside those imperfections, this one looks way better than the Yucatel 1000 Pro, at least to me it does. I never personally held that one but from seeing it online I think it looks way better so props to Yucatel for improving on that. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in my T-Mobile SIM card and this phone does work on T-Mobile but only on 2G. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the phone out for a few hours and see how well it handles. And then I'll come back and I'll give you guys my first impression. Okay, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take this screen protector off. I wouldn't suggest you guys do that, but I like the feel of the glass better than the screen protector. So yeah, I'm removing that. So yeah, now it feels much better. So this is the stock launcher that it's running, so you got the transparent app drawer and the icons kind of look outdated, but you know, you can always throw a launcher in there. And I'm waiting for all my apps to download, which will probably take a while. And then I'm going to go ahead and change that launcher to the action launcher and customize it to how I like it. So yeah, this is running stock Android 7.0. So this phone has a couple of features. So it actually has these exact same features that it has on the Ula Phone Power 3, which is another phone that I'm also testing right now. Uh, so I've been testing that for, uh, I think, about a week or so. So yeah, I'm also testing the Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. So if you guys want to stay updated on that, go ahead and subscribe to find out more later on. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go out for a bit and test this phone for a while. And then I'm going to come back. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I am back after using it for a few hours and I realized that the time was incorrect from when I first unboxed it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the battery status so you guys can see that I have had it for about 5 hours and I'm gonna give you my first impression on it. So the signal in my neighborhood is very crappy and when I took it downtown it was better. So I was able to place a call, send text and the call quality is good and the speakers are also loud. So the phone does support 4G but not on T-Mobile in the US. So I'm going to go ahead and leave in the description below the network band so you guys can see if it's compatible with your carrier. So you can see here that I do get signal where I live but it does go away often so I only have it on for a few uh, minutes and then it goes away so it's way better when I'm outside. So while I was out I took a couple pictures and so let's go ahead and check it out. So here's a picture of my dog and then here's a picture of the outside mall and then a couple more pictures. So yeah, I didn't know what else to take picture of, so I just kept taking pictures and I took a picture of the elevator and other things that I just saw. So I went out to the movie theater to see the Maze Runner, The Death Cure, and it was a pretty good movie, but it had a lot of predictable scenes, but overall it was enjoyable. So this has been a very snappy phone with the 6GB of RAM that it has and the new Helio P23 processor inside. So yeah, it's been very smooth and fluid and it hasn't stuttered on me so far. So this phone has the 16 to 8 display so it's very tall and it has very thick top and bottom bezels. So for those of you with small hands this would be a struggle to hold because it's thick and it is tall. But if you're willing to make that sacrifice to get that bigger battery then I think that you might enjoy this. So you will most definitely have to use this phone with both hands but not all hope is lost as it does have the one handed mode 
where it just minimizes the screen to one side so you can use it better with one hand. So yeah, there's that option there. So I'm going to go ahead and spend more time with this phone and then I'll give you guys my full review. And if you want to stay in the loop, go ahead and subscribe so you guys can know when I put out that video. Also leave a like if you enjoyed this video as that also works as feedback for me so I can know what you guys like and dislike. Also don't forget to comment if you prefer separate unboxing videos or not. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.